Today, it's all about discussing art as a career. And particularly, we shall be talking about acting and we shall include other things to, you know, just to put icing on the cake. Now, today, we shall find out what is art? What is acting? Can you be an actor with zero experience? Well, today, we shall find out about this and particularly stage acting. Is stage acting different from, you know, screen acting? Uh, well, well, we shall find out the definition, the terminologies well, uh, uh, about this. Joining me, I am with none other than Brian Mwanzo. To my extreme left, he is a director and script writer. Karibu sana, Brian. And also next to me, I am joined by Brian Ogana. He is an actor and a director. Karibu sana. A.K.A. Louis. Yes. <coughs> but do people still call you Louis? Oh, yes. oh, yes. I'm even contemplating changing and adding it to my <laughs> birth certificate officially. <laughs> so, yes. <laughs> so, Louis, 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 Louis Brian Martin Zogana. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can be part of this conversation. Art as a career. What do you think about this? You know, the hashtag as always is why in the morning at Ram Aguko at Y254 channel on Twitter at Y254 on Facebook. Good morning to you. My name is Ram Aguko. Welcome to this final conversation of the day. Make sure that you participate with us as we find out what is, uh, uh, you know, what is all about when you talk about all these things. Now, um, let me start with you, Louis. Uh, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> If you, if you look into that You're issue. forgiven. You're forgiven. Let me start with your, your, your journey. Yes. You know, many people have, 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 have worked with you, you know, um, uh, moving around the country, yes. you know, doing plays and uh, scripts. Yeah. But how was this particular journey for you? How did it start? And uh, what was the beginning of all of this for you? Well, basically what I can say is um, my dad planted a seed. Because um, I remember back in the heyday, he used to come with uh, playbooks and uh, he used to give them to me. And I used to find it so fascinating, especially the Shakespearean plays, mm -hmm. whereby how the diction and how they carried themselves. You read Shakespeare? Oh, yeah. So you can imagine at such a tender age of uh, between eight. Here is a young boy who has <laughs> been, you know, yes, doing Shakespeare. <laughs> so, so you can imagine. In, 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 in <laughs> campus. <laughs> <laughs> no. So basically, I have, I have to thank him for all this because without him, then Bran, the actor, will never be born. So wow. the journey began way back and he's the one, he's the main man who, you know, did all this. So you, you, you read those books? Oh, yes. Were you doing the plays in the house? or how? I, I was even... You remember during those times, we never used to have these CG DVDs. Mm. There was these VCRs, yeah, the I, actual I, tapes. I, 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 you. Yeah. You. <laughs> so yeah, we used to have those tapes. Merchant of Venice, uh, Romeo and Juliet. I used to watch them. Mm -hmm. I used to watch them and imitate whatever they're doing. Wow. So my, my screen by then was just the mirror. That was my screen. So I get, do a couple of monologues, lines, mm -hmm. I imitate, I see how it is, and I, and I love it. And so how old were you? Back, uh, eight, eight, nine. Eight, nine. Eight, nine. Courtesy of your father. Courtesy of my father. Brian, how was, the, the, okay, you're both Brian, so let me. Brian's affair. My Brian was. And you know that thing about Brian's. <laughs> <laughs> misconception. Yes. Misconception. misconception. A very big one. <laughs> we'll find out again. <laughs> My brother, yeah. how is it for you? Uh, just like any other Kenyan kid, mm. my story is not like uh, his. This uh, I come from a background whereby theatre, more so arts or acting, was not appreciated. You really have to struggle. Just just our Kenyan setup. Most of the parents don't appreciate that thing. These things are wasting time. That is the background that uh, I'm coming from. But uh, I thank God, uh, out of my zeal, patience, discipline, and pushing, that is how I started my journey. I, unlike him, I started immediately after high school. So you can imagine, mm -hmm. starting at eight, I, was, I started when I was around uh, 17 years old. <laughs> that was when I was starting. That was, uh, was after high school. That is after. So mm -hmm. so um, you joined campus or, or what did you do now to begin after, this? After, after high school, 
I attended an audition in Eldoret. Mm. So I did it uh, with a certain company in Eldoret for like a uh, few months. Then I had to come to Nairobi for campus in JQuart, and mm. that is when I decided to venture into that thing seriously. Because at that time, I've left my parents in Eldoret, and now I'm alone here in Nairobi. And this is what I love. So what, 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 uh, what can I do? Because uh, these mm -hmm. people who well, didn't want me to do it, they are now <laughs> <laughs> some miles away, and now I'm, I'm, I'm here alone. Taking so I had advantage. to exploit that advantage. <laughs> I had to take advantage. So that is how it happened. Now, um, uh, for many, you may not know how these guys started, what they are doing. Mm. You just see them, you know, doing the directing, the acting, the script writing, mm. and then you feel like, you know, they just got it there, they made it there. Mm. But it's never too easy. It's mm. never easy. For someone watching you at home, you know, they have zero knowledge, zero experience, you yeah. know. They say that, uh, well, you can learn from those that have mm -hmm. come before. True, mm. true, true. What should be their, you know, starting point? Someone who is interested in acting, someone like me, mm -hmm. I have no clue. What, mm -hmm. what I'll tell you is your passion. If you have that passion, follow your passion. Because mm. truth be told, um, m most of us, we've been rejected a mm. thousand times. Because well, for me, mm. uh, auditions, I've done yeah. over 400 mm. plus auditions. And there are some, <laughs> oh yes. Let's agree. That oh yes. yes. <laughs> Did you count? Mm. You have to. You, 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 you keep them. them. You keep the records. You keep the record. Yeah. I even remember. You're, you're given forms. <laughs> so you keep the records. I even remember the producers, some of the mm. producers, what they said. Because mm. one producer, I remember, mm. I'm done with a specific scene. Mm. He picks a call and he says, uh -huh. mm. uh, auditions are done. We are to see you in the Watch in the Huru Park. That was the time of the Huru Park with the boat riding. So you can imagine. Uh, we're not the boat. Oh yeah. So it's crazy. You'll get you get rejection. rejected. Yes. Mm. Over four hundred times. Mm. I never got a role. I was frustrated, and I was like, "What am I not doing right?" Now look mm. at you. Look mm. at me now. And mm. the journey is not easy. Someone sees you and things like you wake up in the morning and boom, mm. this is. What I want and I'll be like, it's a journey, it's a mm. process. Because the process you have to go, remember, the skill, you have to polish that skill. Mm. Yeah? Mm. You can grow a talent. Mm. Everyone has a talent. But how do you finesse that talent? You wow. polish that skill uh -huh. to greater heights. Uh -huh. And you have to polish it every day. You wake up in the morning, polish your art. Because every day, you're not just the same, because there's someone else who wants to be better than you. Mm. So you have to be better at your game. Because I usually live with a very simple you know, uh, theory, whereby I usually say, better an opportunity to get you when you're ready, ready. than mm. opportunity coming and you're not ready for it. Wow. So yeah. always prepare yourself. Yeah. Better an yeah. opportunity that gets you when you're ready yes. mm. than it, when it comes when you are not ready. Oh, yes. So be ready. Be, be always ready. Day in, day out. Mm. Be always ready. Mm. What is your daily routine uh, like? How does uh. your day start, you know, as you go through this mm. career in art? Personally speaking, uh, I drink art, I sleep art, I wake up thinking about art. <laughs> that is my daily routine. My life revolves around art. That is what I do basically 24-7. If I'm not writing scripts, I'm directing. If I'm not directing, I'm marketing. Mm -hmm. If I'm not marketing, I'm creating concept. Mm -hmm. So my daily routine revolves around artistic activity. Even if I move from one office to the other, mm -hmm. in town or anywhere, mm -hmm. I'm just exchanging those offices, discussing matters at whether I'm, I'm talking to sponsors, to partners to come in, whether I'm talking to people, it's all about art. And do you so, also get to interact with people who are potentially interested in this? I, many of them, many of them. In my position as an artistic director of theatre, you know theatre is the foundation. Stage plays is the foundation to go where you want to go, to, 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 to pick you, to be where people like Louis are. Stage is the foundation. So I interact with many people mm -hmm. in my line of duty as a director in terms of, uh, of starting their journey off, in terms of auditioning them. Now, um, mm. you've said you eat art, you mm. drink art, yeah. you walk art, yeah, you yeah. sleep art. The passion. The passion is there. Yes. Um, <laughs> but you mostly focus on script writing and uh, directing. Yes, yes. Mm. When when I look at script writing in particular, mm. um, how is it that you, you know, how do you get the ideas? Mm. How do you come up with the scripts mm. that can be able to, you know, uh, 
be taken to a potential someone mm. to and you know can can get some airplay or can be done people can like uh, you know Ghana can be mm. able to you know act yes. it daily life activities what we just see outside here mm -hmm. when you are going the, to your daily duties the matatu experience what people are going through in life the uh -huh. current affairs you know uh, writing a script is a creative work so whenever something comes for example you see like right now we in a, we are in an era of uh, gender based violence we are in an era of covid-19 as a mm -hmm. pandemic you know as a creative you can take that situation and you twist it you tilt it to fit the current affairs. You should come up with a script like that. You already have an idea. Yeah. <laughs> so so, so th those are the things. Then when you think about that, mm -hmm. you sit down in your boiling room or your boiling room is at uh, the, the script writing room. Mm -hmm. You know, that room is, is, is too hot because you, you, you come with a lot of ideas, ideas, superseding ideas. So you can come up with one script that you've thought for even an year. Like the script that we are doing currently, the script we are involving uh, mm. Louis as a character, Sweet at Two, the script mm. that we'll be doing on 17th. It is something that uh, we, the first part of it, we did it in 2019. So we are doing a sequel of the second part. That is why we are calling it Sweet at Two, Two. which okay. we are involving Brian Uganda. So it's all about the, the relationship. It's all about uh, matters, uh, Kukula Fair. The current, things, are, <laughs> the, <laughs> the current affairs that we are going through. So daily life activities is what inspires me to come up with the scripts. Uh, 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 for you, how yes. is your daily routine like? Um, for, for me, I'm an avid reader. Mm. I read a lot. My day starts as early as 3.30 a.m. A.m.? Yes. Uh, before, before the lay. Yes. Ulilala Sangat. Now, this is the funny part. <laughs> <laughs> I... I think I lack, I, I suffer from a, a sleeping disorder to some extent. Because <laughs> once I get to my house, uh -huh. I have to watch a series or a movie. Maybe I sleep around 11 there. And then I wake up at 3. 3.30, 3 I shower, I do a bit of gymming here and there. Mm -hmm. Then I have to read my novel and then coffee. And then my day officially begins. If it's now going to work, mm -hmm. I do my thing. But again, at, as Mwanzo said, at, I'm always passionate about art. I also drink dream mm -hmm. art. Mm -hmm. I, I'm so passionate about art. Mm -hmm. um, I'm also a director, I'm a screen uh, writer, I'm a creative in my mm -hmm. own right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So basically art is instilled in me. And, and, and I've learned that most, most people involved in art mm -hmm. normally do like a lot of things all at oh, the yes. same time. Yes. Yeah. You can't find one who is doing these Speci oh, true. specifically. One of the killer kids. Yes. Yeah. But now we are the actor sasa, mm -hmm. like you killer kid, we are the but we are killer kid. Yes. Yes. Do you ever get writer's block? Oh yeah. yeah, you're human. That's <laughs> 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 like any other human. Yeah, you like a car. You make a car. Yeah, you know sometimes True. it gets crazy to a point. Mm. Someone can think you're running mad because mm. <laughs> you're writing something and like ah, <laughs> you smash something. So someone's yeah. like, yeah. what's not happening? Is this is we normally see in movies. Yes. You know, for, for, for writers, mm. uh, script writers, and uh, they do something time lapse or something. Yes. Mm. Makatas is image up yeah. even and then yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they call bloopers. Eh? Yes. Bloopers. Bloopers. Yeah. Yes, yes. Um, it also yeah. happens for oh, it happens. Yeah. It happens. It happens for anyone. So you're working on what strip now? Uh right now um I'm going back to basics. Mm. By that I mean where it all began. Mm. Stage is where it all began. Mm. I began as a stage actor. And truth be told, I miss stage acting. Is, it, is, is stage acting better than, uh, how do you call it? Screen, screen, screen acting. Screen acting. Yes, yes. Um, I will not say this is better than this one. I, I think for stage acting, it, it gives you more life. Because, yeah, yeah. you know, for screen, for screen acting, it, it limits you. Mm. Yeah. It's all about emotions. Emotions. And stage, uh, you have to play big. I remember so. seeing, seeing you cry on screen. I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> how? How? <laughs> how? How do you do this? Huh? So, yeah, for screen, it's all about emotions. Because I remember when, when we, we used to be directed uh, by our directors back in the day, he used to say, you know, once you're on stage, you perform for a blind man, 
mm -hmm. and a, bl mm -hmm. uh, and a, a deaf, deaf person. Yeah. So yeah. they have to coordinate to each other and tell the story they are seeing That's on stage. Team. So you have to play big. So you must play big for play them big. to understand. Mm -hmm. Yes. Is so that's the only difference. So is there's uh, um for, for there is a youth watching. Mm -hmm. So is what what I'm I'm focusing should. Yes. Should. Yeah. should they join drama club? Oh yes. Yes. 100%. Definitely. Drama mm. debates journalism. <laughs> <laughs> that, that, that is the way to go. That is the way join. to go. Join. <laughs> Were you there? Yes. Yes, that is where I started. So I was there. Mm. So about uh the, the, the creative world mm -hmm. is the world that we are in today. Mm -hmm. yeah. Any kind of creativity. When we, we, we were starting, we were talking about something about art and we were to trickle it down to acting. Mm -hmm. But now when we are talking about art, we are talking about art generally. Mm -hmm. What the cameraman is doing mm -hmm. is artistic. What yes. you are doing is artistic. Mm -hmm. Debate club, journalism, yes. drama, music, all those things are artistic. And that is how the world is going right now. Mm -hmm. So if there's any uh, youth watching, I will personally advise that watch, th that youth to join, yes. to join drama mm -hmm. or to join any artistic mm -hmm. activity, be it it's drawing, writing of, 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 of scripts, yes. any kind of scripts, I will advise them to join. Them. You also started with the theatre. Yes. That is that's where you still are? That is where I'm there up to this point. Uh, all all actors, that, I think that's, that, that's where, that's where oh, they, I, they, they I, I think all actors. That's where they began. That is the foundation. Most of them. That's the foundation. That's that the is the foundation. foundation. Most of them. Yeah, that's the foundation. Those you see on TV, yeah. still on stage, that is the foundation. Because uh, the unfortunate part is, we, we don't have like an acting academy. Academy in Kenya. So where, where, where would you finesse that art? Mm. So it, you have to begin from the stage and yes. finesse. Others are lucky. Mm. You know, you can easily, you know, get into TV without going through. Yeah. But it's, it's always ideal to begin from somewhere from some, for you to polish yeah. that skill. So and then you'll know your like, range. Uh, like even, the the, even those yes. that they are lucky mm -hmm. to go direct uh, on screen, most of them, they, 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 they have that thing of wanting to go on stage. Yes. So you realize some place at Kenya National mm -hmm. Theatre, you get them there performing. Mm -hmm. Because they, there's some fascination when it comes to theatre play. Yes. There's some some spirit, yes. some, <laughs> oh, <yes>. some <laughs> energy. <laughs> when it comes to stage, because it involves, uh, Yanni, when you're on stage, it involves the all of you. Yes. So now you mm -hmm. said you're going back to the basics. Yes. Yeah. And uh, this is where you, you started from. Like, yeah. how many years back? Where do you started? Ladies whoa, and gentlemen, whoa, whoa, whoa. the journey. Started? The journey. The journey. Yeah. <laughs> I think two, two or three. Two or three? Yes. That is theater. Theater, two or three, yes. <laughs> Yeah. My God, uh, yeah. <laughs> two or three. Because mm. uh, so we did. Um, I remember the basics back then was set books. Yeah, so it was uh, called traveling yeah. theater. Traveling theater. So that that was the basics. Mm. But that still is it? Is it still something? I think like it's. That? I think it's, it's still, still going on. It's I think still it's still going, going on. Yeah. Still the basic. Yes, it's still the basic. Yeah, that's where the journey began. Set books, traveling so, the theater. I remember watching, you know, some guys when I was in high school. Yes. I was so mm. fascinated. Oh yes, yeah. You know, that looking at how they were doing the uh, thing. how they yeah. got all those lines. The lines. <laughs> And you are really struggling in <laughs> class reading. <laughs> I'm trying to read this newspaper. Eh? Nothing. Eh? Nothing. Mm. And you cram all of that. Oh, yeah. Mm. yeah. That's the basics. Basics. What are the what are the values mm. or principles that you know mm. someone in in, the, in this mm. career needs to have? Mm. For me, what really worked for me is um, be an avid reader, because there is a way. It polishes how you think, how mm. you see things. Mm. Be very attentive with your surrounding because, you know, you get one, two, three things and always improve on your diction. Mm. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Your how, how you pronounce, how you articulate your words really means the whole world. Mm. So for me, that is the basic. Now, le le let me touch on this before I come to you on, yeah. the, on, 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 on the principles or values. Yes. Um, you talked about diction. Yes. Do you normally have like things that you do that? Oh, yeah. 
Give Practices. Me, give me examples. You know, um, things like you, someone can do to. Uh, all right. I, for, for me, I have uh, this. You know the vowels. Yeah. R A E O U. Yes. So I go R A E O U, and then I do ma na pa ba ta la mo no po bo to lo mi ni p b t li. Someone is speaking in tongues. Yes. Yes. So someone might think like, what's wrong with this guy? What are you doing? But there is a way. It's it 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 opens up your jaws. Uh -huh. Yes, and then uh, the pencil. Okay. You get a pencil, mm -hmm. and each and every time, just be sucking on the pencil. There's a way the pencil usually tones down your vocal cord. So it, uh -huh. it gives you that firm voice. Mm -hmm. Whenever you're talking or whenever you're delivering a line, mm -hmm. it gives you that. Mm -hmm. You'll be sucking a Sucking a pencil all the time. So someone's like, I thought this <laughs> stage... You've passed we, we what's happening. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Why are you still doing it? Mm. So those are the basic um, uh, exercises I usually do. Yeah. And then there is um, the bre breath control exercise. Uh -huh. So breath control exercise helps you whenever you're given like uh, a passage or a monologue and you have to say it in one Jeez. breath. Mm. So there's a way you breath control in each and every line. You say it with you, one breath. Can, can you give us like a test for the, for, for the, for the breath control? All right. The hue and cry of the new millennium has left me totally cold in and move as best for me a month for cast if this is really my new millennium. Taking into account that most Africans do not know what a new millennium is, and here I am adding to this cultures and trends that this millennium is here to stay. Whoa. Ethiopians, yes. <laughs> so that's one breath. <laughs> so you need <laughs> <laughs> that's what you're, you need to, to like say oh, yeah. in one breath. In the morning, in the evening, what time? Um, it, it actually depends what works best for you. For me, the exercise work best in the morning hours. Mm. And yeah, that's where, you know, mm. I do the exercises. Yeah. There's this issue of, um, I don't know if it's a myth or, mm -hmm. a, or something that is a fallacy. Yes. Mm. Taking hot water. Yeah, it helps as well. It helps. It helps. It helps. Yeah. It do do these it's, things also? It comes. It, it, it comes your vocal. Your vocal. Mm -hmm. It comes your vocal. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Taking hot water comes. There's a way when you take cold water, it gives you that deep voice. So it depends on how you want to play with it. Oh. Yes. Bro, uh, look up to you. Uh, 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 talking about the principles and the values. Uh -huh. I normally summarize uh, that uh, in two words. Mm. One is discipline. And two, understanding the, 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 the ability versus availability. Most of the people tend to think that if you, you have the ability of doing that, mm -hmm. you can maneuver or do it in any way. But you need to be very available. Very available. For yourself or for the For yourself. For yourself, you need to offer yourself and be very available. Mm -hmm. So I always believe that there is a, lo a, a big difference between ability and, and availability. availability. So you can be able to powerful. do it, uh, very powerful, but you are not available for it. So it's a very critical thing. So when it wow. comes to value, mm -hmm. you need to think about the ability, being available for that thing. Now, let's define this mm -hmm. and uh, based on how you've distinct, uh, mm -hmm. distinctively put them, uh, ability and availability. Mm -hmm. If we're talking about ability, mm -hmm. we're talking about what an individual can do. What an individual can do. In terms of, um, mm -hmm. what if I don't know that I can do it? What mm -hmm. if I'm not you know, um, done something called self-discovery. What if mm -hmm. I don't know my capabilities or my, or, or my <coughs> elastic limit? You mm -hmm. know, the, the beauty of it is life is all about experiments. Yeah. Someone can sing, someone can sing. You don't know if you can sing, not unless you try singing. Yeah, try. Uh, someone can play an instrument, others can't play an instrument. There's someone who has a different range on stage compared to the screen. So it's just discovering what best and what suits me and what works for me, yeah. uh -huh. and then concentrating more and giving it more power to on it. That area. Yes. yes, that yes. is ability. Mm, yes. Availability. Uh, let's talk about uh, an audition. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, that yes. That you must, you must go there. You must go there. Make yourself available. Make yourself available. Look for those opportunities. Regardless of the number of rejections. Then, regardless yeah. of those numbers. Have continue you making yourself available. His was 400. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. And counting. Never get tired of auditioning. <laughs> <laughs> That's the bottom. That, 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 is, that is the only yeah, thing. You've, you've done never auditions I, I've done auditions. How, uh, like, like, have you counted the number of rejections? Come on, hey. You know, yeah. people are different. At a point, I decided to lose the count. 
<laughs> don't like it. They were, they <laughs> because they much. were too many and they were they were very discouraging. <laughs> I, I don't think I can never I, you know, I, re <laughs> I remember there was a play a, a place I went for an audition and uh, people there was a camera there auditioning people. But when it reached my turn, the camera was changed to a phone. <laughs> <laughs> the camera the camera was changed to a phone. Why is it that when it is your now, turn? My <laughs> turn is when, is when they are using a phone. And uh, it was <laughs> too quick. Pa, 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 eh, to come and Lisa. So, and you know, I was there watching people auditioning. And I was like the, the, the uh, I think, 100 and something. So you can imagine watching 100 people auditioning. auditioning. Seated there patiently. But when you, you so you are following every you are following everything, even the procedure, even the questions that they are asking. Mm -hmm. But now when it reaches to me, mm. it was changed from the camera to to a phone, mm -hmm. and the questions was so. <laughs> they, they changed the questions. <laughs> yani, they was very less, and I felt like they were they were shallow. Yani ilikuwa tu twende twende te. Tumalize iki tu kufa dereva kufa bakanga tumalize iki. But some normally say so, that, that these auditions are done when they already know what or who they are looking for. That uh, that, uh, personally, I'll say that uh, that is a fallacy. Mm -hmm. You just go there. Yes. Be prepared. You never know. You never, you never know. know. Because you never that know. person that they are, they, they are already looking for might be you. Yeah. So you go there. Could it? Is it possible for someone to be person number 500 mm -hmm. in the audition list yes. and yeah. still get it? Oh, yes. Yeah. Why not? Why not? Mm. Don't give up, ladies. Yeah. Hey, don't why give up. Why not? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Problem is, once people, especially once thespians go to an audition, mm -hmm. and probably, let's say, an audition is being held, let's say here, mm -hmm. and then people have flocked in, mm -hmm. and uh, they are come in numbers to audition, and then they see me since yes, they saw me. And they're like, you see? <laughs> He's here. He's here. He was cold. They don't know I'm also coming for audition. Just like them. So already. Uh. Let me tell you. Let, 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 me, let, me, let me give you a secret I used to do. Uh -huh. I used to go to auditions. Then uh, I see the crowd is crazy. Mm -hmm. So I get to the room, I do my very best, and then I come out. And then I see the number. And then I just shout, what are you still doing here? <laughs> this world is mine. Go on. What I'm doing is, oh yes, what I'm doing is, I'm dismissing these people, because I'm also auditioning, so I don't want these people to get this role. I also want this role. So, so that's what happens. So since you're popular, people know Louis. He, 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 he's taking the role. Mm. But they don't know that you're also auditioning for the same role. Yeah. Have you... Okay. Um, in this particular yes. uh, level that you've reached, yes. I know, you know there's always room for improvement. True. You, you have other targets that yes. you are, mm -hmm. you, you've set for yourself. Mm -hmm. But have you ever gone to an audition in this particular level mm -hmm. where you feel like you can get something done mm -hmm. and someone else gets that job instead of you? Yeah. So, w what usually happens is... Um, the script has to talk to you because mm -hmm. uh -huh. for me auditioning <coughs> is a must but um, sometimes you, you, the role they send you you don't feel the role so you feel like if i do it i will do a disservice to this particular role so mm -hmm. there is no point for me touching mm -hmm. it okay. that's that's what you know when you say it about availability and all that mm -hmm. now that's where you know professionalism mm -hmm. discipline again Design. comes in right. yes mm -hmm. so sometimes if the role is not talking to you mm -hmm. you can you know back off and say you know what uh, mm -hmm. I choose not to do this because I'm not feeling it. <coughs> Probably someone A, B, C, D will do it better than me. Because mm -hmm. maybe you might do it and <laughs> end up not, you know, giving it life how they expected you would give it life. Mm -hmm. so, 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 Brian. Um, okay, Brian. Yeah, Brian Affair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So Brian, 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 Brian Affair. Affair. Brian, the, the queue. Um, as you... you you go through this industry, there are those low moments that you've, you, you've reached. Yeah. Those times that, you know, yeah. you, you say, this is my lowest moment in, in my career. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Give us such, you know, such a story. How was it for you? Uh, the, 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 the industry has a lot of uh, fallacy. Mm. And when you're starting it, you might sink in them, just like you said. 
whenever you are attending an audition, you know this thing has no shortcut. Audition, audition is everything to anyone who is out there. Mm. Because, you know, it is the script writer and the director that know that the, the person who can pull this role. So you can be there 500 of you people, mm. but now you are the specific person that the script writer had in mind while he was doing that script in terms of color complexion, in terms of uh, physique, in terms of how you are talking and all those things. So you realize that there, there is a lot of discouragement when you are attending those auditions. For example, mm. just like you said, you are attending an audition here, then out there, you meet like 500 people. In that crowd of 500 people, you see Louis, you see Pascal Takodi, you see the big shots in the industry, you see Ram Anguko there. Then Naram do Naram do <laughs> And you, 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 you don't know that they are just coming for the same thing, yep. just, like, just you. like you. So you become so low, you become discouraged. At some point, you walk out. You decide to go before even going into that room. Are you getting it? And you go home discouraged, Kabisa. So the next thing that you are, you are you are called to go and attend, you don't feel like you are, you want to do it. Mm. You feel like you are discouraged. You, are discouraged. Yeah. you feel like, I this thing has specific people. Come on, I, I will just go to another in, industry. Uh, yes. let, let me go to another <laughs> industry, or I will go there and again meet Louis there, yes. and already is an household <laughs> name. So of course I will not manage to 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 secure that thing. Mm. So you you become solo, but. But what I can tell people is keep on trying, mm -hmm. keep on trying, mm -hmm. keep on trying. Mm -hmm. It is your opportunity until that time when you are told it is not you. Yeah. Louis, yes. your lowest moment. Oh, many, many, many. Ah, people discouraging you, uh -huh. um, people not valuing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and they see it's just a waste of time. Um, pressure from uh, probably the outside world mm. yeah because sometimes the expectation is too much for you and trying to balance because at the end of the day you will never uh, make everyone happy mm -hmm. uh, you will create enemies along the way and the enemies are a lot i never really used to understand why people you know are talking bad about what i'm doing but i got to understand that you know at the end of the day if you're not doing something mm -hmm. yeah. and people are not mm -hmm. talking mm -hmm. then you're as good as dead so mm -hmm. people talk bad, bad about what you yeah, yeah, yeah 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 they do mm -hmm. they do and let me tell you you know we, we're living in the digital space and of course, you get a time, you go through and, social you know, media. social media, social yeah, media. yeah, I have to pick what's happening, yeah. And then, <laughs> boom, <coughs> it's, it, it can be the lowest. But mm. I learned and the art of, you know, forming a thick skin. And, mm. you know, not every, you know, dog that barks mm. is that intense. <laughs> so you're like, yeah. okay, you continue barking. I know continue what I'm barking. doing. Mm. I know what I'm doing. So, mm -hmm. good for you. Good, good mm. for you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Social media has mm. been one one factor that has really affected so many uh, who are in the creatives. creatives. Yes. So many creatives, you know, mm -hmm. uh, bullying. Yes. Um, ha, what is your experience in regards to that? My experience is very simple. Um, know your truth. Mm -hmm. Stick by your truth. Mm -hmm. And you owe no one any apology or justification for what you're doing as Absolutely. long as it's the truth. Mm -hmm. Period. Mm -hmm. That's it. Mm -hmm. In theatre, there have been issues that have risen, including gender-based, um, let me say, violence in yes. a way, mm -hmm. um, gender-related mm -hmm. related issues. Mm -hmm. Someone <coughs> says that, uh, you know, I'll give you this position if yep. you do this. Mm -hmm. um, you want this role as an actor? Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Do this. Mm -hmm. You know, what would be your, 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 your word, your, mm -hmm. your comment in regards to, to that? Just like any other thing, mm. our values in life, mm. our values, know your worth, know your worth, know what you can do and what you cannot do. But these things actually happen. It's the world all over. That is the it's world. And it's, it's, it, all it's not even just our industry. No, not mm. in theater alone. Yeah, it's all over. It's all over. Know what you cannot do and uh -huh. what you can do and know your worth. Know your worth. Yeah. Know your worth. Your value is really, really important. Because you see, if, if you carry yourself like a thousand note 
mm. people will see you as a thousand note. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if yeah. you degrade yourself to that penny, mm -hmm. people definitely see you as a see penny. You. Yeah. So your value is very important. So you, sh you should stop saying, Mimi to you, Mimi to. Mimi to. Mimi to. Carry yourself, mm. put yourself in that level. Mm. Even if you know I'm not in that level, but put yourself in that level. And I know people have, you know, uh, also, you know, gone up on social media, mm -hmm. considering the way you, uh, you, you are, yes. they would say, ah, <coughs> they ask questions, mm -hmm. is he married? Mm -hmm. I'm a <laughs> <laughs> That's for me to know you to find out. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, someone sent me a message, yeah, yeah. Like, Louis, yes. Louis, that they love Louis. I'm like, oh. <laughs> um, yeah. sweet, sweetheart. Yes, sweetheart. 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 Tell, tell us about it. Sweetheart is basically a normal Kenyan story, I believe as a script writer on telling our mm. own stories. Mm. No one can come here and tell our stories on our behalf. We yes. know our stories more than anyone else. Yep. So it's about telling our stories. You realize that the word sweetheart mm. is an oxymoron in literature. I'm yes. yes. spelling not sweetheart. <laughs> see, see sweetheart, sweet. not, so sweet. not heart. Not heart. Yes. Uh, heart, H-E, it's heart. Pain. Pain. Heart. H -U -R -T. H -U -R -T. Yes. Pain. These are two contradictory words. It's a style in literature called oxymoron, putting mm -hmm. two contradictory words yes. together. So the big question is, how can heart be sweet? Mm -hmm. Or how can, how, how, how can you define that? How can sweet be heart? How can mm -hmm. sweet be heart? How can heart be sweet? <laughs> <laughs> you know, basically, it, it's very hard. Yeah. So we are just telling a story of a newly wedded couple mm -hmm. who thought that life is a bed of roses. But they were not ready for the eventualities, the normality of life. What happens after celebrating that one day event, which is a wedding? Mm -hmm. And uh, getting the difference between a one day event, a wedding, and a lifetime activity, of marriage. which is marriage. So we are just telling that story a little bit. So we are, we, are, we, are, we, are, we are mixing a lot of normal things that are happening currently. Women, uh, bad friends, influence, alcohol, <coughs> uh, all those things. We are mixing them there together. So this is what you shall have um, coming up uh, on the, you said Saturday, on the 17th. That is 17th. Yes. Saturday. Where is it? At Eldoret, uh, CBD, at the heart of the City of the Champions. There's an auditorium in a 14-story building called KVDA, mm -hmm. third floor. That's where you should be doing There's an ultra-modern auditorium there. Standards of Kenya National Theatre. Wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, uh, let me just say, Louis. Yes. Uh, you are in this play. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, how do, where do you come, come in, your, your role here? My role basically is I'm the disruptor. Yeah. Uh, I travel to the U.S. Uh, seeking uh, greener pastures mm -hmm. and uh, there was this girl who I was eyeing for. So in my mind, I know she will wait for me. <laughs> so coming back, shock on me, <laughs> the girl is no more. And uh, she's married. So oh, no I, more, not dead. E no yeah, more. yeah, yeah. She's <laughs> not available. <laughs> not available in the market. No. <laughs> so I try all the charms. I come all guns blazing, trying, you know, uh, to win her over. But uh, she's married. She's married. And, you know, sometimes you usually have this thing, you know, once you go black, there's no coming <laughs> back. <laughs> Shock on me, the girl is no more. So, yeah, uh -huh. uh, I'm left in the dilemma of uh, what next now? She's gone. And on this play, mm -hmm. you're, you're, not, you're not now Louis. No, I'm not no, Louis. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> now, now is Will I Am. Will I Am. Uh, Will I Am. I'm William. Will William. <laughs> and, there, and, and there are actually life lessons from this play. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Because, yeah. oh, yes. you know, Basically. for every, every, every play, every work of art Absolutely. that, you know, is being showcased, yeah. you have to get pointers. What are the take -outs? 
from yeah. everything because mm -hmm. lessons have to be learned mm -hmm. you know like uh how do you go about it because the girl you know as much as in she's married she's in a very abusive relationship, relationship. with the husband yeah. you know and that's when the point of gender-based violence comes, comes in, in. Yeah. yeah so oh, she's it's, it's even in this, place. In this place. place so yes uh -huh. yes so all the lessons are there takeouts mm -hmm. are there for uh you you know to go reflect and ponder upon them and see you know mm -hmm. uh as much as in yes there is this there is a way someone can carry themselves in marriage and still it will work it it's will not work. you know <laughs> uh like you've been casted like eh, this is forever and that's you're doomed mm -hmm. there is a way you can easily make marriage institution work, work. Mm -hmm. you wrote the script for yes, this yes yes mm -hmm. for every script writer you know there's always that part that to mendica you like apple mm -hmm. I found that, you know, that, 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 that do I say, hitting point, that climax that mm -hmm. hit you. Mm -hmm. What is it that, you know, was the, 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 the hot area, the mm -hmm. hot seat for this, for, for this play when you are doing the, the scripting? <laughs> Basically, that question is very critical yeah. because, you know, people who are playing those roles are watching. So I cannot, <laughs> <laughs> I cannot give. <laughs> Me, personally, as a script writer, the hot point is from the introduction to introduction of that script. You may say someone... <laughs> that is the hot spot. So at a tesasana. At a furuga sana. Umearibu. Umearibu. At a kwa na kiburi. I love that. I love that. I love that. <laughs> so it's yeah. happening on the 17th yeah. uh, how how can people you know get access to to such a thing considering uh, you know the uh, issues of covid how will it we, we we're just hoping like everything works out yeah uh, but you know you, we 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 know we in a society whereby we are hopeful yeah, yeah. Uh, you know his excellency might wake up tomorrow and say you know what before what? Yeah. The numbers are down. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we we just mm. a hopeful society, and mm. we're just hoping for the best. All right. Yes. I think when we when we were doing it, I I received a lot of communications from uh, from people from Nairobi, Nakuru, Busia, who were uh, to attend the play mm. in Eldoret, and now that. Uh, just like uh, Brian has said, mm -hmm. we're in a, in a society whereby we are hopeful that things will work out. But uh, if not, the way we are hoping, everything that's supposed to be in place is in place. Mm -hmm. All the COVID-19 protocols, the social distancing, the, the, the wearing of masks, the sanitization, all those things. It's a government facility. Mm -hmm. So everything, everything is in place. And we want to assure the people who will attend it. I mm -hmm. believe right now, it will be now people from the Western region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> now that people from this side yes, are, uh, are, 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 are kind of in a dilemma, mm -hmm. unless our president says something before then. Yeah. But we believe that people from the other areas, because uh, we've got an audience. You know, uh, Sweetheart script is our 13th script as wow. far as theatre plays are concerned. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. we've gotten people attending our shows from Marala, Marala from Kitale, from Busia. So we, 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 we were hoping to get people from all over. Uh -huh. Now that we have the, the, the star of stars <laughs> in the building as <laughs> part of the cast. <laughs> so we, we had received, we had received the... Uh, they're misusing me. <laughs> <laughs> they're misusing no, we are just saying the truth. Eh? And, and, and what, now, <laughs> now they're using that brand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. let, me, let, let me touch on social media first. Yes. Mm. Young, thank you so much, Young J Mama Kenansi Kalale Wayuna, mm. uh, for watching. Uh, uh, Fora, hey, what are mm. Fora for right. Okay. Dance Konka Ke and uh, Winnie Julie. Mm. Thank you so much, everyone, for participating and committing. I am Ninona Mukituma um, Masala Muzenyu Hapo Ivi. Mm -hmm. uh, let's wrap this conversation now. Mm -hmm. uh, our time is over, but now, um, finally, yes. what would be your word of advice for that young Kenyan interested in art, mm -hmm. in a nutshell? Uh, mm -hmm. Get out. Get out. Go knock those doors. Whenever you learn of any audition, and, uh, and uh, I, 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 I thank God that everything comes with uh, an opportunity. Yes, we are in this era of COVID-19 and all those things, 
but it has introduced us to more of online activities. Whenever you see even online auditions, whenever they are, if you are passionate about that art, try that thing out. Mm -hmm. Try that thing out. Nice. Yeah, get out, knock mm -hmm. the doors, attend auditions. When it comes to our thing, when it comes to acting, it's all about auditions. So whenever you see that opportunity anywhere, anywhere, just try it out, even if it is far, go on that poster, then keep the contact. Regardless of the distance. Regardless of the distance. Take Ata the kama Mombasa na Ata kama iku, na uko Nairobi. If you cannot go there that day of audition, go on that poster, take the contact, keep the contact. Yeah. Wow. What you will use that contact for, mm. it is up to you. Yes. Louis. Yes. Ah, Brian. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Your final word for that young Kenyan watching interested in art. Oh, my parting shorts will basically be... Um, Nothing is impossible. Nothing is impossible in this world. Kill that vibe of, um, I need to know someone, A, B, C, D, mm. for me to get there. Kill it. It's you. 90% of everything you do is up to you. 10% is just that person that probably will take you there. But 90% is basically you. I love leaving you with a takeout, where I usually say, when you pray, Pray as if you're going to die the next minute. And when you plan, plan as if you'll never see tomorrow. That should be your driving force, and well, basically you will succeed. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I am impressed. Gentlemen, thank you so much. Thank, thank you. you. So much. Thank you. Mm. It's a pleasure. Uh, Elores Tunayenda. Mm. Karibu ni sana. Asante ni sana. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we, our fingers are crossed. Are crossed. Yeah. Yeah. Are crossed. Yeah. <laughs> Serikal. <laughs> Serikal. Serikal. Yeah. I was with Louis Otiachi. Uh, hey, Louis Otiachi. Salute. Salute.